Hi, this video is brought to you by TechDirectArchive.com. In this video, I'll be showing you how to delete quick heal antivirus CFR backup folder or other antivirus on Windows. Whenever you install an antivirus, for instance, um, quick heal antivirus, you get to have a CFR backup for your system files, a backup folder for your system files. And most time it is usually um, created inside the drive that you install your antivirus into. So um, I will go into my C drive now. Inside my C drive, you will see, you get to see this, uh, this folder I'm talking about. So let me uh, slide my screen is hanging. Okay, so this is my C drive. If you look at the top here, you see the folder I'm talking about, CFR backup. So if you try to delete this uh, folder, let's try and delete it. You will see this message. You will need to provide administrator permission to delete this folder. And if you click continue, you still get the same message. So you are restricted or you don't have that permission. And if you open, open the folder, if you open the folder, if you discharge folder, if you try to uh, delete it as well, you'll get the same message. You don't have that permission. Even if you try to access it to open the folder, you will not, you will not have that permission to access the folder. So what can you do? Um, I'll be opening my quick heal setting. Inside my quick heal setting, I'll go into the self protection. Inside the self protection, you toggle this button, toggle it to off. You toggle it to off. So you get this message. Disabling quick heal self protection is not recommended. Though we are still going to come back and put it back on. But for us to be able to delete that folder, we we'll have to do this because that folder uh, usually back up files on your system and it uh, reduces the space on your system uh, it's better to do it once not that the backup will keep uh, uh, creating the folder each time there's a backup of your system file uh, and it's not it's not a good thing at all because it reduces the space of your system which you can use for more important Thing. So we have to. I'm going to delete that folder because I've already done uh, a backup of the system files, so I don't need it. It's creating, uh, it's reducing my sp the space of my system. So now I'm going to disable this. Saying, Are you sure you want to disable quick heal cell protection? I'm going to click yes. So we are still going to come back to this. So um, I'm going to hide this now. So inside um, our antivirus installation folder, let me go into the program files. Inside the program files, I'm going to look for my antivirus. This is my antivirus here. This is the folder. Quick here. So I will open it. So I'm going to look for this file, CFRU. CFRU, so this is it here. CFRU CONF is a configuration setting file. So I will open it. I'm going to open it with an editor. So once it's up, then you get to see this uh, line here. It's back up on. So you change this one, change it to zero. Then you save. You save it save the file you save it so let me close it now let me close it and confirm let me confirm um, let 
whether okay it's now zero it's no longer one so it's fine so um so the next thing now is to go back and see whether we can delete that uh, folder now so i'm going into that location so this is the folder let me try and see if i can access it now it's still giving me this permission let's see if i can delete let's see if i can delete it i still cannot delete it so there is um, another thing we can do so i'm going to go to that location now so another thing we can do again is i'm going back into that um, program the installation folder for antivirus so um there is still another file there this cf file is still a cf file, file so let me bring it up so this file this other one cfrs conf so let me open it with a notepad i'm going to do the same thing it's back up on so i'm going to change this to zero as well so i'm going to change that to zero so i'm going to save it now so i think we should be good now so let me reconfirm it's still zero so it's still zero so i'm going back into the folder now the CF, cfr folder to see whether i can i can delete it so let, let me assess it first it's still showing this so i think there's still one more thing you say you have been denied permission to access this folder so let me try and delete again I still cannot do that. So um there's still another st step we're going to take to do this. So after trying all those other steps and we still cannot access or delete the folder, then we can go into the security settings. Le let us access the folder properties now. Under the security tab. You can select your account is mine you can see that i have all the permissions yet i still cannot uh, delete or access the folder so i'm going into the special permission now click on advance so under this place you can um, check this box here it's going to replace all the child object permission entries with uh, inheritable permission entries from this object so apply it click yes then click ok ok then let's see whether we can access that um, open the child folder now so we are good we can open it now so let's see whether i can delete the whole folder now so it's deleted now so we are good to go so um sometimes issues like this can happen when you think um, one step can um, correct an issue 
before you know it you get to second step third step fourth step so the focus is that there is going to be a solution at the end of the day so it, it, this these are the steps that you can uh, take in deleting uh, this backup folder it's not only on uh, quick heal that uh, this backup folder automatically is being created we have other um, we have other antivirus that can as well create this backup folder for you but sometimes it gets to um, reduce the space the available space on your system which you can use for more important uh, things so this is uh, steps you can take in deleting this folder if you do not need it on your system so i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching